The summer of 1990 still resonates, buzzing in my thoughts and how I see the world. That summer was a pivotal moment in my life. Like many Ganyong Kahaga of my generation, there was life we lived before July 11th, 1990, and a life we lived after. For many indigenous nations from east to west, 1990 was a watershed moment that sparked a thousand fires. My name is Clifton Arivogete Nicholas. I am Ganyong Kahaga from Ganasadaga. Over the last 25 years, I've been involved in the struggle for my people through direct action, through teaching, and now as a documentary filmmaker. I produced two independent films called El Sipugtug, No Fracking Way, the other medium length film on the resistance to Canada's energy use pipeline called Garistazi Onyere, The Iron Snake. My next film will be on the 25th anniversary of the 1990 crisis, titled In the Long Shadow of the Pines, 25 Years Since Oka. With this film, I want to explore how this point in Indigenous struggles has impacted current movements as well as the youth born in the shadow of that fundamental moment in our history. We're trying to do a very ambitious project about the 1990 Oka crisis. Uh, I feel it's an important project to do, um, considering the impact that the 1990 crisis had on both Kanasadaga and other Indigenous movements across Canada. Uh, this, where we are right now, is the, the pines in Ganasadaga, and this was a, a focal point of that crisis in 1990, and the struggle that took place in that time. Uh, these trees behind us are, are a testament to that struggle. They're still here, and they were successful in that, in that fight. Uh, this film will be a retrospective look at the 25 years since 1990, an introspection of my thoughts and my feelings about 1990, and also an investigation on how the youth feel. Those who are, who are 25 and younger, who've lived in the shadow of the Oka crisis in 1990, and lived in this community, and lived with the ramifications of that crisis. We want to further uh, look at what other indigenous movements have gotten from the crisis in 1990, uh, what it did to the movement, and how it made a movement greater than it was. Uh, it's, it, like I said, it's gonna be a very big project, and there are needs for uh, licensing of footage, their needs to buy equipment, to travel, and other expenses attached to uh, making this film, professional services being one of those things. I feel that this is an important film, that's a story that needs to be told, told from the perspective of Ganyo Kahaga people who were there. I was a very young man at the time and had a very deep impact on me. And I feel that this is the film that I need to make. And with your help, I can help it become a reality. Sego, my name is Ellen Gabriel. I'm from the community of Ganesadaga. Uh, I'm here to ask your support today to uh, help my good friend Clifton Nicholas, who is a documentarian, do a story uh, from the perspective of our community called In the Shadow of the Pines. Clifton has made some uh, excellent films uh, in the past uh, on Elsie Pugtug and others. Uh, he was here during the crisis, lived, lives in the community, has ever since. I've been on it for 25 years. And this is a worthy project, and I think an important project for uh, present and future generations to know about and to have as uh, part of our history. Uh, and 25 years later, we are talking about the same issues of the land and the conflict because of the continuation of colonization. And so this is something that is a worthy project for you to support. Hope you will support Clifton and um, as I do uh, to bring about this important chapter in our history as Okwahua people, as indigenous peoples, the first peoples of Turtle Island. Nyao. This film is being produced with the technical collaboration of Submedia.tv, producers of the film NCIV, as well as numerous online short videos about indigenous struggles and environmental issues. Your donations are greatly needed and appreciated. To show our appreciation, we're offering a range of perks for various donation levels. You can view the perks on our campaign page. Once again, thank you very much for your consideration and time. Yawa Goa.